would you call this delusional? Wow, MK, you found a stick. No, it's Monkey King's staff. <laughs> <laughs> Lego Monkey Kid is a 2D animated series inspired by the Chinese myth of the Monkey King. The show was produced by Flying Bark Productions, and of course, there are Lego sets of the same name to go along with the show. The series premiered back in 2020, and as of this video is still going on to this day with 4 seasons and several specials. The show centers around a boy named MK who is a big fan of old myths of the Monkey King. But after going on a delivery, he discovers the Monkey King's staff and quickly gains his powers. He discovers that after many years, a powerful evil named the Demon Bull King has been released by his family, Red Sun and Princess Iron Fan. On MK's journey to try to stop the evil, he eventually meets his hero, the Monkey King himself. He is told by the Monkey King himself that he needs to use the staff to defeat the Demon Bull King. If you can lift the staff, you can use it. Just believe in yourself. Even a smidge makes all the difference. And with that, using his newfound powers and his friends, he's able to defeat the Demon Bull King for now. And from there, we have a sort of status quo slash villain of the week as the series slowly develops more characters and story. Our main character, of course, we have MK, like I mentioned. He's a very optimistic and very charismatic individual who tries his best to live up to the legacy of the previous Monkey King, who is mentoring him now. He wants to protect all that is good and keep his friends safe at all costs. Halt, evil monster! I must thwart thee, for I am the Monkey King! We have Mei, who is MK's best friend, another person who is also very charismatic. She's a big fan of high speeds and enjoys nothing more than hanging out with her friends. That was an intense game of tag. You guys look like you were having so much fun. I wanted to join in too! Although a bit naive, she can also be very hot-tempered. She is also a part of a family legacy of the Dragon Clan and discovers there's more to her family than she originally knew. The Dragon Blade is the pride of our family heritage. Its power only shows itself to those that embrace their history. We have Pigsy, a hardworking chef who owns a noodle restaurant. He's always been with MK as a sort of father figure to him, and quickly came to his side when they needed to defeat the Demon Bull King. He can be very short-tempered, but is always looking out for his friend's best interests. But he still remains pessimistic about the Monkey King. I need workers, soldiers, and the army of Pigsy's noodles. Home of the world's longest noodles. We've got Sandy, a very muscular but very kind man who used to be an avid fighter but now is more of a man of peace. He will still go out of his way to help his friends though, and he's also incredibly handy when it comes to making vehicles for the gang. My therapist said I really needed to calm down. That's why I started drinking tea, doing yoga, investing in therapy cats. Really helps. We also have Mr. Tang. He has a ton of knowledge about myths and legends, especially when it comes to the Monkey King. He can be lazy at times, hanging around Pigsy's noodle shop a lot, but in the end, he's still someone you can really count on. It's not over. We can't help MK, but we can make sure no more lives are lost. Make sure his sacrifice wasn't in vain. And of course, the last of our heroes, we have the Monkey King, the former protector of the world, now retired and is training MK to take his place. On the surface, he seems to be a very kind individual, even though at times he can be very blunt and underprepare MK against enemies. But at the same time, he is a very secretive person who is hiding more than he lets on. What? Don't do this! I'm sorry. It's the only way! Some of our villains include Red Sun, the son of the Demon Bull King. He's very intelligent and full of pride, but is another one who is short-tempered. He always wants to try his best and make his parents proud. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm about to end it! That staff is mine! We have Princess Iron Fan, the wife of the Demon Bull King. She is cold and ruthless except towards her family, but like them, just wants to rule the world and help her husband do it. She's often indifferent to most people outside her family and will always protect them. Demon Bull King! Oh, I've missed you. And lastly, we have the Demon Bull King, who was trapped under a mountain for a millennium. Now free, he looks to continue his mission to conquer the world. Flesh. Boom. I have returned to the realm of the living. The animation was done by Flying Bark Studios, who also did the animation for Rise of the TMNT. So you can imagine the fight scenes go really hard. And for something based off LEGO, you wouldn't think they would even try to go as hard as they would. But they did, and they did it very well. With 4 seasons of 11 minute episodes and several specials that are around 45 minutes, you'd think they wouldn't have enough time to develop the, all these characters. But they actually take the time to do it and do it pretty well. And that's just for the characters I mentioned. There are a lot more throughout each season, with more allies and enemies, each more powerful than the last. 
Overall, a show about the Lego Monkey King really did not have to be as good as it is. And with the latest season ending on a cliffhanger, I really hope to see the story's conclusion soon. Because honestly, I'm not sure what else they can do after the story wraps up. This show is a really fun, action-packed adventure for all, and I implore everyone to give it a watch.